welcome to this short video on antenatal colostrum harvesting. I'm Trasso, one of the lactation consultants here in the National Maternity Hospital. Antenatal colostrum harvesting is the expressing and collecting of colostrum from 37 weeks of pregnancy. We do recommend talking to your midwife or obstetrician before starting to make sure that it's safe for you to do so. You can start off expressing once or twice a day for five minutes and build up to three times a day for 10 to 15 minutes on each breast. So you can get your free antenatal colostrum harvesting pack with everything you need, including your sterile syringes, from your antenatal clinic if you attend the National Maternity Hospital. Just ask your midwife or doctor about getting one. So first wash your hands and warm them up a little. It's best to express in a warm, calm environment. Sit down and make yourself comfortable. You can connect with your baby by looking at your scan photo, talking to your baby or touching your bump. This can all help to boost your oxytocin, which is the hormone that helps to release colostrum. Firstly, gently massage your breast from the outer area of your breast towards the nipple in a circular motion. It's important to make sure that you massage all the breast tissue as well. Massage using a gentle fist, a whole hand, or fingers in a circular motion for about two minutes. This promotes blood circulation and also stimulates oxytocin. Next, position your thumb and your fingers in a C shape. Place your thumb above the areola and your index finger below, like so. Then gently but firmly push back towards your chest wall. Leave your fingers where they are and compress your finger and thumb behind the nipple, then release. Repeat this action in a rhythmic motion. Push, compress, release. Push, compress, release. Your fingers should not be pulling your skin or your nipple forward like this. Also just to note, expressing should not hurt, so if you feel some pain, try and reposition your fingers and try again. Drops may start to appear now. Continue expressing until the colostrum slows down or stops. Try massaging your breast again to help stimulate the flow of colostrum and restart the push, compress, release action. Push, compress, release. Push, compress, release. You can change the position of the C shape so that you move around your breast and attempt to find that sweet spot for expressing more drops. Push, compress, release. Push, compress, release. Be gentle and know that you may get little or no colostrum in the first few attempts. This is normal and no indication of what your supply will be after you've had your baby. So how do you collect your colostrum? You can either collect it in a sterile syringe provided in your pack or another sterile container that you might have. You can either use the syringe like this, push, compress, release, 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 push, compress, release. Or remove the plunger from the syringe, like so. Place a cap on the end securely and express directly into it. Push, compress, release, push, compress, release, push, compress, release, push, compress, release, push, compress, release. Then don't forget to replace the plunger carefully so as not to push out the colostrum. Make sure it clicks in properly so you won't lose anything. Carefully turn it back up, remove the cap, slowly and carefully get rid of the air and replace the cap and it's ready for storage. You can store your syringe of colostrum in a clean container at the back of your fridge and you can keep adding to that syringe throughout the day. When you're finished adding to that syringe or the day has come to an end, you can then label your syringe with the labels that are provided in your pack. 
put your name, your date of birth, your hospital number if you have it, and the date that you collected the colostrum. Pop it onto your syringe like this, so that we can see the details, and then put it into a clean container in your freezer. Don't forget to bring some of your colostrum with you when you come to have your baby. It's important to transport it frozen, so you can do that by putting it into a freezer bag with a freezer block. At the National Maternity Hospital, we provide weekly classes for antenatal colostrum harvesting. If you'd like more information on these classes, you can go to nmh.ie forward slash classes. Thank you so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed this short video.